Hey everybody, Odin God logging on. Um, I got a little story to tell here. Uh, it was crazy too. I was just in Act One. I just got to Nightmare with my sorceress, and I was just in Act One. And I decided to. I had my um, this MF items that I have on. I had on my higher level character. So I decided to say, well, you know, it's a source. She does kind of stay back. So I went ahead and grabbed my MF gear. Let me show it to you real quick. Okay. I am out Ghoul's Dagger when I first started playing. So I've had this. And then I got these, that, this. I made this armor, made this helm, as you can see. Uh, these boots, you know, just, they had some faster run. I kept gambling until I got some with MF and faster run and walk. And I got this soul off Andrew and Nightmare just right before I turned this video on. I wish that I would have been recording and got me a map of this thing, but I just just got through getting it. I don't know any I don't know if putting all this stuff on had anything to do with that, but I'm sure it did. I mean but uh anyway, um like I said I was gonna make a sorceress so I could MF. So that's exactly what I started working on right after I turned that other video off that I recorded yesterday. I got her up to about level 9 last night and just couldn't stay up no later. But this morning I got up and uh, got right to work on her. I've been working on her pretty much for the last 5 hours, I guess, 6 hours. Anyway, I noticed something, man. There ain't no comparison on a sorceress. How fast she can get through the game compared to the other characters like Necro with no Enigma. Druid with no enigma and stuff like that. It's, it's amazing. Teleport is just unmatchable as far as getting things done. You just, I don't know, man. But anyway, here's the gear I'm using. Oops, not this. Hold on a second. Yeah, I just need to switch hands, that's all. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. There. I think. Let me make sure. And that seems right to me. Yeah, that's right. Okay, anyway. Alright, here's my gear. So, I tried to get as much faster cast as I could, that I could round up. And skills. Now, this am of course, I was starting out being a fire source. So, I grabbed this off one of my mules. But, apparently, I don't need it. Uh, but it does have faster cast on it, replenish life, a little bit of cold resist. I said, you know what, until I get something better, I'm just going to throw it on. Because I don't think, well, I have one in my stash that does one to all sorcerer skills, but it doesn't have faster cast. So, I did have an MF ring here, but man, I replaced it just right away. <laughs> so, that's basically the rundown of what I have. Now, my Merce has this, that, you know, that's just to help me not, not go through so much mana. Boy! Man, when I first got teleport, woof, I forgot how it felt. <laughs> Not having a lot of uh, mana. Boy, I'll tell you, talk about eat it right up, man. There's the ring I had on. Oh, I guess I didn't have MF. Oh, oh I was going to tell you, with all my MF gear on, I was 360-something MF. It's pretty sick. Just about had it to 400. I think I did have it to 400 when I had that other ring on. The MF ring, yeah. Either that or it was real close. I can't quite remember. But anyway, uh, so we just got here to Act 2. So uh, I'll probably do this video through Act 2. Now, I'm not really trying to showcase anything here because everybody knows, pretty much everybody knows what a cold source is. Basically, what I've done is just max the orb and, and the stuff that maxes it out to. A little bit in the teleport, a little bit on the own bosses, and one here. You know, real simple, basic, nothing out of the ordinary, you know. Anyway, just kick back for a little bit. We'll play around a little bit with the source and kind of see, you know, what she's capable of and stuff like that. All right, so act two. So the first thing we need to do is get the staff. So let's go. Well, if anybody that's watching my video haven't got the bad news yet, I'll go ahead and give you the bad news. Ladder's been delayed. Like a punch in the gut when I seen it. I'm looking so forward to that ladder. But after I got the news and I was kind of like, man, that kind of sucks. I wasn't mad or anything. I was just disappointed a little bit. 
But after I started really thinking about it, you know, do we really want a crap ladder? You know, I would rather them take their time and do what they got to do and do it right than get some kind of, you know, half ready ladder when you know, the game is messing up all the time and all that stuff. I'd just rather not deal with all of that and uh, let them do the job, let them figure it out. You know, I hope it doesn't take too long, you know. Yeah, it kind of sucks. And somebody's, I guess the, where this thing was posted at, somebody, well, one of the people that wrote it said uh, it ain't going to be like four months from now or anything like that, so, you know, so we got that, at least that to look forward to, but even saying that makes you wonder two months? You know, that's what makes me wonder. So... But uh, we're supposed to get some hard dates, it said, you know, that we'll have a little bit more clarity of when this is supposed to go down and all that stuff. So, uh, hopefully they keep us informed at least somewhat. I mean, I'd like to know what's going on, you know. But I guess I'm just going to continue to make these videos and do this until this happens. Until we get the ladder reset and all that. And I'm not going to stop making videos then either, but that'll be different than this because it's going to be like getting to level 99, you know, and I like to stream it, so that's going to be my first thing that I want to do is get to level 99. It's going to be some hard work, man, some time-consuming hard work, but that's okay. That's the only way you can get to 99 unless you bought or something. I'm not doing that, so, you know. Well, my goodness, can you guys believe this? Where is the hole? Over here? This little hole, man, sometimes it's aggravating as it can be to try to find it. Did I just pass it and not see it? Or? Huh. Okay. I mean, it's got to be like in here somewhere. I mean, there she is. My goodness, see? Well, you got to get right on top of that thing. Hmm. Oh, well. It is what it is. After you find it, then, then it's, you know, no big deal. You can pretty much, if you got good casting and a source, you can pretty much find it pretty quick without any issues, really. Yeah, I mean, find the way to killing the boss here and getting your staff and getting it done, you know. Alright, it's going to be the other way. Right there. I've made so many characters and done all these maps so many times that it's in my brain. <laughs> Pretty much where it's at, you know, at least. I mean, I do still get lost, but it just don't happen very often. And I, can, After I get lost, I can come right out of it and find my way, so. Just many years of playing and doing it so many times, I guess. <clears throat> How bad did he get poisoned? Well, that's not horrible, but I'll still heal him. Whatever. Okay, staff is found. What's in here? Nothing good. Okay, we'll go ahead and chuck that in there. Not going through mana at all like I was, man. Once I made Spirit Sword and got these gloves on and now this Soul John and, uh, you know, him doing this here, it, it, it pretty much took care of it. I mean, every once in a while I'll have to hit one, but pretty, pretty, pretty decent. Not bad. Now, I've had a bow, you know. I wouldn't have no issues at all. Wow, that was convenient. Thanks. Okay, what I usually do is just hug these walls. Whoa, wow, that's... Wow, okay. Well, anyway, yeah, I hug those walls, and I always try to go up this side first, like I just did. I always do that first, because, you know, sometimes it's there, just like it was, so... And I'd never say I knew all these maps by heart or anything, but, you know, you know after you played for a while, you've been doing it for... Years and years, you kind of get a feel of, you know, where things are. Yeah. That's why it looks like I have a map pack or something, but I don't. It's just that I've done it multiple, 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 multiple times. So. Okay. And then, you know, when I had the bot, and I used to bot a lot, it had map hack. So, you know, you start to, you start to memorize what things will look like in your mind. And then you can pretty much find your way around, you know, and... I mean, that's what that's what I'm doing anyway. That's what worked for me. Yes. 
I think that they ought to give us a whole new layout. So people like me that kind of been around a long time that knows pretty much knows where things are at would be like, oh, I don't know where I'm at now, you know. Be kind of cool, but frustrating. Okay, so we got that. Let's talk to this guy over here. So that doesn't get bug bugged over there if they didn't fix the bug yet. I do it out of habit because of, of all of that, you know, the bug and all that stuff. So you opened it right up. Now I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so now we have the staff. Now we're going to fly down here and take out the summoner. These are always straight in a line. Come out of that one, straight in a line to this one. Straight in a line to this one. And then right when you get in this one, go this way, kind of diagonal. And there it is. Just like clockwork. I think that's static. It doesn't change. Now, this right here is where, you know, I don't know, guys. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it moves or, or I'm just a bad judgment of where it's at each time I come in here because I usually find it on the last, you know, way to go. Right, look at that now. As I'm saying it, I find it right off the bat. But let me tell you something. When I had map hack, nine times out of ten it was up here. So, I always go up first, just to make sure. I wouldn't say nine times out of ten. More like five times out of ten it's upward, I would say. Alright, what are we... Whoops. Sorry, guys. What are we looking at here? Circle with a line under it. Isn't that right over here? Right there. All right. See how fast we're getting through Act 2? I mean, it's insane. The Sorceress is just... I mean, that teleport is such a big advantage of getting through the game, man. And that's why you'll notice every time there's a ladder reset, everybody jumps on a Sorceress. Obviously, as you see me play, you can see why. I mean, you guys watched me with my other characters. It was nothing... Nothing this fast. Not at all. I mean, like, like I said, I started this character five hours ago. Played last night, got her like level nine, got the Trist thing set up and stuff, and then, you know, blew through the rest of this like it's nothing. I already have a good uh, assassin Amy when I go to make the assassin anyway. Okay, well, freezing first, get slowed down, and then battling with this thing. This is why I put one skill into this, because let me tell you, it helps you. And he's gone. I don't see anything there I need. And that's Act 2. I mean, man, boy, you know. That was so fast. It was unbelievable. Welcome to the Diablo T Sorceress. Yeah. And this is Nightmare, too, guys. Took me about, well, I didn't have teleport. I didn't have the things. I didn't have some of the gear. So it took me about a, a little while to get through the full normal, you know, all the way through it. But once you get here and you kind of got your shit together and you're, you're like level 40 or whatever. Yeah, man. If you got if you got your spirit sword and you got some of this casting stuff you make and get lucky and get these gloves, you, you know, pretty much my setup. You can fly right through here, man. Just like I just did. Here's a little tip for you if you don't know. After you talk to Jaren, step down these stairs, throw a TP up right here, come right out right there, and you can you save yourself that big old walk down over here. It ain't super faster, but I mean, it's something. It's a little quicker. Come on. Oh, there ain't nothing like the taste of ice cold water. Mm. All right, act three. Now, this act here now, guys, I'm not good at. I'm going to be honest with you right now. I'm not good at it because I ain't used to having to do all the quests. I usually go in, get rushed through, you know, and I don't hardly ever play solo. But since this is the new patch and it's solo, I'm here. I'm doing it, so... Uh, let's just see. I have done this a few times with my other characters that I brought through here. And I do have teleportation, so it ain't going to take near as long as it did with them. So let's just see. 
what we can do here. Well, didn't find one with the TP, but I'll just go right back out there and get it, whatever. If we don't run into it, I don't really care because I'm never coming back in here anyway. Now, if it was hell, I would. I'd go ahead and take the time out to find this TP. Or wait for one, I mean, not TP. But, I mean, you know. If I run into it, I run into it. If I don't, I don't I'm not really worried about it. Unless I die, then I'll be worried about it. I'll be pissed off then. <laughs> okay, so now we're trying to get... What is it? The Great Mosh? Or... I don't remember what the next one is. The name of it was. But I'm still in the flurry jungle. See, this is what I'm saying. I don't really know where to go next because I'm not good at it. I haven't done it hardly ever. Still in the... Okay, I went too far. All right. So I didn't find the Great Marsh. So we're going to have to... I think it's called the Great Marsh. Whoop. Okay, here's this little thingy. We'll go ahead and do this since I'm here. Oh, boy. Isn't this where it is, too? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is right where I'm supposed to be. Okay, let's find the little... Where's the little guy that just... Should drop the thing for me here. I forgot the name of it. If I can find the right one to kill. Where is he? Well, he wouldn't be down there. He's supposed to spawn right around here somewhere. Interesting. Uh, am I just not seeing it, or did I hit that thing? Let me see. Yeah. Well, where is he? Maybe he did spawn out here. Huh. That's strange. Well. Okay. I'm not going to worry about it then. I don't know what in the world. Whatever. Am I making any more? Yeah, I am going to make some more melee. That'll actually be pretty good. Alright, now. we got to find our way. A couple levels down here. I think there's dolls down here in one of these levels you don't so you don't really want to be trying to like kill every little thing or you'll get yourself blowed up. Two we're looking for level three, I think. Yeah. Okay. It's one of these corners. Looks like it's gonna be this one. Yep. Well, that's what I thought it was going to drop back there, but it didn't. There it is. Okay, where's the chest? Was that not the right spot? Uh. What the? Am I not in the right spot, or? See, this is what I'm saying. I don't really know what I'm doing really good yet. Looking for the brain, right? That's what that's what we're looking for. Hold on. There she is. Boy, I'll tell you what. It won't take me but a few a few go arounds through here, you know, to get it all straight in my mind and I'll have it. I'm starting to already get it, you know, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm looking for. I just don't know the map very good, as you can see. <clears throat> But it won't it won't take me a long time. I just add it into my arsenal. <laughs> okay, and we'll take this down here and get our twenty life. Talk to him. Are you ready? 
don't really have to talk to Kenny, but why not? I remember years and years and years ago when I first started playing this game. This little quest right here. I it was so confusing, I couldn't get him to give it to me. And now I know to go back two or three times before he actually gives it to you. But yeah, I remember first starting, I just would miss that quest. I'd go do it and everything, and then be like, what in the world? He won't give it to me. And then I just got confused and just left, you know, whatever. I don't think I have any upgrades. I'm looking. I don't really want to take him out of that. So. I'm going to be putting this stuff on right when we get to the boss, though. Okay, yeah, there's no upgrades, so. Whatever. Just look, just look in every once in a while. Every once in a while, we'll look see. All right, now. Oh, wow, really? Not one waypoint? I'm going to backtrack then, because that's just... I'm not going through all of that again. I thought I grabbed one waypoint. I guess I didn't. Maybe I seen it, was gonna get it, and didn't. And the only ones that really matter to me is Torrential and the last one, anyway. But yeah, if you die, though, and you didn't get no waypoints, you gotta just leave the game and come back. I'll try to get a waypoint right here just to make sure if I don't get, you know, messed up or lag out or something. There we go. Well, that's a good one to have, anyway. Not really a nightmare, it doesn't really matter, but hell it does. Okay, so we can find the other one. It should be like right across. Oh, it's the same one. Yeah, right here. They're usually right across this flat area. I don't really have to have it or nothing, but I'm looking. Ah, well, whatever. Oh, there it is. Did I not? Did I get it already? I, I, I tell you, man, I noticed something about this game. If you teleport really fast, these don't light up until you're already, you know, past them or whatever. Okay, now we gotta go down here and get the heart, I think it is. And try not to kill nothing down here because there's little dolls everywhere and, you know, they'll roll you right up, man. Especially on a sorceress. It's dangerous. Unless you're a lightning sorceress with energy shield. I made one of them, man. Boy, she was tough. I was so happy with her. I was impressed. I was happy. Whoa! You're, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Good thing I got them waypoints, huh? Well, I guess I could get my... Hold on, let me see. Uh, this walk way down here to get your mercy is absolutely annoying. I wish that they would put her like in this corner right here or something instead of way down here. Hello there. But the world ain't fair and nothing's really perfect, so there you go. You know what perfectness does to a lot of people? Never. Causes them disappointment. You expect perfectness in, in every aspect of your life. It just you just get disappointment or expect perfectness in others, like your kids or your wife or something. Yeah, man, it's just a road to disappointment. Okay, now we gotta be careful. I don't want to get killed again by that crazy thing. I'll throw a TP up right here just to make sure. There we go. A little setback there, but we we survived it. We got through it. thing here. I wish that right here there was more to go through to actually get to it. Like there was some mo more monsters and a little bit more area to go through to get it instead of just you get in here and you just walk right over here and there it is. I just feel like that this part needs added on a little bit. I always have felt that way but I mean whatever. Alright. Because, I mean, just walking in here and then just walking straight over here and there it is. 
I also feel that way about Act 2 in some of the spots. It just seems like there should be more. Like you're coming to the end and the boss is right there. Like Anduril. You go in there, you got to kill, you know, if, if you want to do it all. You could just pop right there and kill her. But if you wanted to clear the whole area, you got to go in and clear this side. Go in and make sure that little summoning little dude's dead and the one on this side's dead and then take her on, you know. Uh, especially if your character's weak, that's how you'd want to do it. It just, I don't know, man. just seems like... When you're coming down to where they are, there should be more. Like Bell, for instance. Bell's perfect. You gotta kill his minions and all that, and then, you know. Hold on, let's go ahead and refill everything. Anyway, uh, you gotta kill all Bell's minions and all that, and then get to him. I like that. I, I think that a lot in the game should be just like that right there. Okay. I love the game, though. I love it just how it is. You know, not complaining. Just would be cool if there was just a little more, you know. Oh, and also, in the bell run, speaking of the bell run, wouldn't it be cool if, like, he would drop way more monsters and more of them? And wouldn't it also be cool if they'd, like, come out of the walls instead of just he pops them down and there they are? He should pop, their, the ones he already does, he should pop them down and then simultaneously monsters should just come out of the walls, you know, so nobody's in the corner just standing there acting stupid, standing there getting that pre XP. Everybody should be engaged, and that's how they could do that. Just just have monsters just come right out of the walls like mommies and, you know, maybe have some of those in there, those mommy thingies. You know, have them just pop out of the walls, doop, doop, on all sides and everything, and then just have a bunch of demons roll out of them, and then you got to kill all the demons and then kill the nest that they're coming out of, the crypt. That would really be cool, man. That would make a bell run a lot more interesting. And also, I played this old... Uh, mod back in the day called Hell Unleashed, Diablo 2 Hell Unleashed. Dude, their bell run was epic. You want to talk about a good... Get on, on YouTube and look up Diablo 2 Hell Unleashed and look at some of that content, man. I, I would love it if they would add that sort of thing into this game. Like, the bell run, you'd go... Uh, if you haven't seen it, the bell run goes like this. Well, first you got to go through what we go through now. You know, the level 1, level 2, level 3. Then you go on to this outer space thing, kind of like the, uh, let me see, what, what's it, name of it exactly, the Arcane Sanctuary. So, like, you had to go through this long Arcane Sanctuary setup. It didn't look like the Arcane Sanctuary. It was different, but it was made out of the same tiles. Then you'd get through all of that, and then you'd run onto this boss, and he was strong, man. And you had to fight him for a while, kill him. And then you would go down into where, like, when you go into Bell and it turns red, well, you'd go after you killed that boss, which was extremely hard, by the way. And there were some provincial bosses, like I'm going to fight right now, and they're with that guy, so it was hard. Anyway, you'd do that, and then you'd go... Then you would go into the red part, like you go into where the bell run is and everything's red. You'd go into the red, and then there you had to fight a whole big tile. Of big. I ain't talking little. I'm talking a big red tile of guys. And, and different levels, you go into the out of the first level into the next level, there'd be more bosses, more monsters go out of that level into the next level, there's more bosses and more bosses. You know, like, not bosses, but like, like, uh, monsters like, uh, Listers and stuff. Listers, Doom Knights, uh, everything, man, everything was in there. The whole, the monsters of the game, you had to fight them all. And then you'd finally get to Bale, and Bale would, instead of throwing down the minions he throws down now, he would throw down these minions that were just I'm going to tell you something you better be good at the game you better be because you won't kill through them if you ain't you got to know the mechanics of that mod you got to know everything how it all works you got to MF your rear end off to get the items to even think about doing a bell run man I remember just, just endless hours of playing and getting ready for a bell run because you'd be like level 60 and by the time you did one bell run you're like level 80 that's how hard it was you didn't have to do a whole bunch of bell runs like we do now, man. You did one, and, you know, that's in-game. That was your in-game. It was insane, but there was more in-game than that, man. Like like we have over Diablo and all that. They had that sort of stuff like that. Check that mod out, man. I really... This game could grow so much if they just do it, you know? And if you're anybody that works for Blizzard and you happen to watch my video, look at Hell Unleashed. That game... I mean, dude, that's where I would like to see this game go, and, and, a, and something like that, make it big. That game was huge. Okay, guys, I had to tell you that. All right, now, here, here we go now. Uh. 
That should be a cakewalk. Don't get too close to the explosion, guys. Whoop! Now, see, the skill was supposed to switch. Hold on, there we go. About got me killed, didn't it? I said this should be no problem here. I am struggling a little bit. Not really, but. I wasn't expecting some of that to happen, like my Merch dying right there. As far as resistance, I thought it was good. But, you know, when you get cursed and you get all them guys on you at once, man, it's, it's a real pain. Yeah, a bell run would take you about, if you had good gear and everything, and I'm not talking about the solo version of Hell Unleashed. I'm talking about hardness level 8, okay, by yourself. You almost couldn't do a bell run by yourself that you had to have a, uh, a healing paladin to even do a bell run anyway. Almost didn't even matter how good your gear was. Solo, you just almost couldn't do it. Unless you played the solo version of the game, you know. But I never did. I always played the eight, eight people game, man. It was just nuts. I'd start out eight player and I'd stay eight player through the whole thing. That was great. Ah... <sighs> These boots seriously need at least 20 faster run and walk, man. I hate these boots. This is how much I hate them. I'll just throw them right away because I won't. I never wear them. I never put them on. Bow girl, it doesn't matter. I don't wear them. I don't like walking slow, man. All right. Our Mars died, didn't he? Let's go grab him again. Let's take a second. I'm going to look at his fire as this. That was weird. I mean, I know that Blizzard's never going to do anything like what I just talked about, but at least somewhat of something like that. At least in, at least enhance the bell run some, man. Just going in and killing a few monsters and killing bell and leaving, man. Come on, man. Make it twice as long. Like I said, make stuff pop out of the walls and spit out demons and stuff so nobody's just standing there doing nothing and all that. Put a stop to that. Okay. I don't think I grabbed the, uh, no, I didn't. I might not even be done. Yeah, I got them all. Okay, grab that. Okay, now we'll make the, uh, there we go. And now we will bust the, uh, thing over here. Just like that. Alright, now what I usually do here is I'll grab this wall right here and just hug it. And that's why. <laughs> this one too. I'll grab this wall right here and I'll hug it. Sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't. But there's no reason in getting out there and teleporting all over God's creation when you just follow this wall. And more than likely will take you to the waypoint and where it's at. Because you're in here and you're blind. You don't know where you're going. There it is. Now, from here, from the waypoint, always go left. So, after you find that waypoint, just start hooking left, no matter what, and you'll run into it every time. We're going to run into it, I guarantee it. There it is. See? <clears throat> okay, we'll mow these guys down. Again, the skill did not change. They really need to fix that. Yeah, there goes my nurse. So his fire resist must be like really bad. Of course, that guy's got lower resist. Let me get over here and TP just in case, because that definitely can cause some issues. Don't want to get those guys activated. Man, that guy's on me like shit on a stick, dude. All right. I'm only clearing all this because when I put that MF on that I'm about to go put on, I'm weak as I can be, man. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So I'm making sure that I clear all of this first because, I mean, I don't think I'll end up over here, but you never know. I don't think I will, though. Besides that, it's MFing anyway, too. You know what, man? I don't even... Yeah, I'll go ahead and grab him, I guess. You don't think he's going to live long, but he might. The Lister... Or, not the Listers. I got that bell run on my mind. 
those guys there, I don't know, man, what it is about them and killing your Mercers, but yeah, man, even your Merce with good gear, I've seen them go down. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the issue is. He gets cursed, and that guy had lower resist, too, so. Yeah. All right. All right, so all I want to do now is just get it, get his life down. Back up. That's good right there. Now we're going to go put on like our three, 300 MF and then we'll kill him. I usually only switch on the bosses because it's just too much to worry about every little thing. Let's check. I think that's all everything. Oh, the ring. Hmm, where'd the ring go? Hold on, I gotta find my, my other map ring. Oh, come on. Huh. Was it an AMI that had MF on it? Oh, yeah, I think it was. I should have 300 plus. Easy. I don't know why I don't now. I must have lost something. Something somewhere. Something I had on. I don't know. That's strange. Got my boots on still. Huh. wonder where that ring went. Or AMI or whatever I had. Well, I'll be. Wait, there it is. There we go. All right. Like I was saying, I'm super weak. The resistance is terrible. But we do break the 300. All right, here we go. Oh, my God, better TP first. No big, no problem at all. Wow, he, he still dropped shit, didn't he? Uh, can't think of any. I already got some bows for her, so that bow is not going to do anything for me. Let's see if this chest has anything in it. Okay. <laughs> mm Whatever. It is what it is. Sometimes you get good drops on quest drops, and sometimes you don't know, got that soldier wall to go, so. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I kind of want you. I want to go through Nightmare with you guys, so. That's what we're doing. And I'm kind of showing you tricks and little things you can do, you know, to up your game. Oh, I'm not even wearing that anymore. Lightning resist. Ooh. Okay, let's see if there's anything I can do about that. That's bad. I got lightners. It's in my helm already. Oh, man. You gotta have lightning resist in this act. I could put this on. But I'd only be gaining 10 resist. No lightning there. Cold. That sucks, man. I didn't realize I didn't have any good lightning resist. Yeah, I already have lightning in my helm. What's this? Cold. Oh, man. Poison. Cold. <sighs> God. Seriously? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, lightning resist right here. 30. So if I was to put... No, I already have lightning in my helm. Hmm. Boy. What a mess. Alright, well, I'm just gonna risk it. Just gonna risk it, man. Whatever happens, happens. If we die, we'll get back up and go again. Whatever. That's how you do it. I'm gonna get this level real quick here. Let's knock some of these dudes out.
Just in case I did die. <laughs> get, get, get at least the level you're close to, you know, real fast. Yeah, because in this next level here that we're about to go to has a lot of burned souls. At least it usually does. Right here. Maybe I'll get lucky and it won't have them. I don't see any, so that's a good sign. Like I was telling you guys in my last couple of videos, when you're a low level, not all the time now, but most of the time you don't really see a lot of burning souls, you don't really see some of the dangerous monsters until you get to a certain level like 55, 65, 70, something like that, and you start seeing them. Which, in the case of right now, that's what's happening here, because usually this place is just covered in burning souls. Where are you hiding at? I'm looking for that angel. He's hiding somewhere down here. Come on. Where you at? This is just something. This is a random. Where he is, it's a random. You ain't gonna know where he's at, no matter what. There he is. And that's that. Okay, I'm not going to go back to town right this second, because I want to just get this done. Yeah, no burning souls, man. You see that? It doesn't always go this way, but in the majority of the runs and stuff that I've done, it's this way, you know. So if you do find, if, if you're doing what I'm doing and you just ain't got no light and resist, it's just making a game. And more than likely, eventually, you're going to run across where there's no burning souls and stuff to worry about. It shouldn't take maybe one run you might get, maybe another run you might get, but then you won't, you know. Okay, I'm not going to worry about four, just something I'm going to go back and do later. We're just going to get this done and jam down there real quick, unless I just accidentally run into fours and I'll go ahead and do it. And I did. So we're just doing it, since I'm already here. So well. Unless my eyes are deceiving me. No, nope, that's the forge. <laughs> Course he is. Come on, Murph, don't get you don't you die now. Thanks. You're gone, that cold, cold moon's gonna be on me. And then I can't handle him. Because he's mean to me. Yeah, let's try to clear out some of this other stuff. Get off of me, big boy. Okay, we're going to go ahead and nail him to the wall. Whoops, see, the skill doesn't change. I'm going to nail him to the wall where my mark's going to eat him up. Wow, it's not working very good. There it goes. Come on, Marsh, get him. I'm just kind of, like, confusing him. Breaking his, uh, breaking his attack, basically, is what I'm doing there. All right. Let's see what these are. I don't think they're trains, but we'll look. And of course, they're ethereal. Maybe they're trains. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Look at that. Do these? Uh, these don't don't uh, rejuvenate your mana, though, do they? Okay, well, for now, I'm going to keep these on. Might make that change later, though. <clears throat> okay, what in the world? Seriously, man? I'm not going to deal with this. I'm just going to town put these gloves up. They're good gloves. I just don't need them right now. Yeah, that cold resist is really good. Now, you can go into town with this hammer. Matter of fact, I'm going to do it. You can get, When you pick up the hammer, it's always broken. It's never not broken. So, come over here. Sorry. Come over here. Heal the hammer. Whoop. That's one. Now, some people say by doing that, you get better drops on the forge. 
I don't know. It does appear to be that way to me, though, because when I repair it, when I don't repair it and I do repair it, it does seem like it gives better drops. I don't think it really does, but who knows? It might. I've, I don't have any evidence or proof. Let's see. No, see? So, I mean, you just, you don't know. I don't really think it's true, but, I mean, if it is true, might as well try it. Okay, forge done. Well, there it goes. And boom. Right, we're flying. All right, let me look. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that out of my stash. I want to be able to pick up stuff, identify it, and without hassling with this stuff. Oh, good God. Okay, we'll put it over here, whatever. Okay, I just don't want to deal with all that right this minute. All right. I'm not going to worry about this. I'm not here for XP. I'm just here to get it done. I always like to hit that seal and walk up and hit this one. And sometimes it moves that ghost away from that wall where you can get the drop off of him. Just like that. Yeah, I'm not doing a hundred percent clear, it'll just take too long. I'm not doing that right now. Ah Of course he would die. Come on. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna go get my Merce. I'm not gonna play without him because he gives me mana. So I'm gonna deal with all that. Yeah, he usually dies when he, uh... Gets cursed and stuff. That's when he gets killed. Mostly. Did I not get him? What in the world? Seriously? Oh, because it gave me my skills and made me think I got him. There. Could happen to anybody. See, that's what's bad about that. Boy, look at the density in here. It's unreal. This is player's one, too. Be in trouble with this player's eight, boy. Don't die, Merce. There you go. Good job. Okay, we're not just going to hurt Diablo here. That's it. The TP here, because he could kill me with his... Let's get the stupid curse off of us. That is one annoying curse right there. Amp damage. Oh, boy. If you got it on you, don't go fight a boss. Get it off you, man, first, because it'll kill okay, you if you don't. You know, when your gear is crap like mine is. Don't spit that. Okay, now we're going to go put our MF stuff on and zap it one more time. Try to do this fast here. Okay, is that all of it? If it ain't all of it, oh well. Okay, where's he at? And boom! Are you serious? All the MF I have on. And even on a skill quest. He gives me total crap. Mur not not skill yeah, skill or uh That's just all crap, man.
Seriously? Okay. Almost done with Nightmare. So when did we start? Been about an hour or so. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. I just want to kind of show you guys what I do all the time, you know. Instead of just seeing the character after I've already done it, I'm kind of showing you how it, how I play it, you know, me personally. There ain't no really wrong way to play, I guess, if, if you're having fun and you're enjoying yourself. I mean, there's insufficient ways to play, though. <laughs> you know? Definitely insufficient ways. But even if it's insufficient, you're new and you're still having fun, that's all that matters, I mean. Is that everything? Double check. Okay, so now we, we'll go down here and get our socket quest done, and then move on from there. Now I can teleport so quick, the game can barely get everything uh, identified for me. You know, showed, that's what I mean. Yeah, no, not really no mana issues right now, so that's good. Okay, now we'll go do this. I think, are they immune to cold? I can't remember. And hell they are. I don't think they are here, looks like. I always hit these two spots, and you never know, if you get something. And that's that. Now we just go. Now I'm not going to save the soldiers and all that stuff. That's normally what I would do next, but I just want to get through the act, so. All that I can come back. Take care of, so. These cars don't die, baby. Wow, because that curse, man. Oh, you stupid thing, you. Yeah, I'm gonna get it off of me. It just takes so much damage, especially as a source, man. It's just. Let's just do a check here. Eh, I'm all right. Got our hole. Yep. Okay. Resist quest real quick. Just takes a minute. Hopefully there's not burning souls. But nine times out of ten, they're here. No matter what level you are. Well, it looks like I got lucky, though. I got the I got the one out of the ten. They were no burning souls. <laughs> Usually this place is loaded with them, boy. But like I said, I'm a lower level. You know, that's, that's what I was talking about. You know what? I can hit him with this, at least. And, uh, back up in case he does some cold stuff out of him there. Come on, Marsh, get him! Take that and get some gold. Why not? Yeah, I really do, though. You know, because we got to do like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bell runs to get to 99. And I feel what would make that better is just make the bell run bigger, make it like three bell runs. Three bell runs worth of monsters and stuff, you know, so that way you're <clears throat> not having to do so many runs, man. I mean, whatever, it's just my opinion. I, I, I just, I've always, ever since I first started playing this game, this is in-game, Bell's in-game, and it's this little. Now, I mean, if you cleared level two, three, and all that, you know, it would be a bigger thing, but you don't hardly get no XP doing that after you reach a certain curtain level in hell. About 80. Start stop getting good XP, clearing everything out and all that. In a full game, you can get a little. 
But it ain't worth it, not really. Unless you just, you know, look at it as a map, and I guess you could do that. Okay. And I didn't get the waypoint, so I'm just going to go back in here. This takes a second to get out of here, since I know the way. I really do want this waypoint, actually. Just in case I die somewhere. There it is. Okay, now we're looking for... Gauntlet Trail. I think that's how you say that. Isn't that the way we went in? Yeah, that's not what we're looking for there. Hmm. Maybe it's this way over here. There we go. Okay, and now we're looking for... Or it's Summit, maybe? I can't remember what the next one is, but I'll know it when I see it. Our Ancient's Way? I think, yeah, we're looking for Ancient's Way now. Pretty sure. No, the Frozen Tender. That's right. Or Tundra. Hold on, was that a waypoint? I'd actually lit it up when I was teleporting over. See, then I could see it if it done it right. Ancient Sway. Okay, I was one off. I forgot you had to do, go through that to get here. That's right. Okay, I definitely want this waypoint too. In case I die or whatever, I'll have it. Probably gonna find. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, I'm probably gonna find the ancients first, but I didn't. Okay, now, ancients. Now, ancients! Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna have our hands full here, I got a feeling. Maybe not, maybe it'll go easy. Oh, come on. Okay. All right, how do I look in my... Okay, I'm gonna put the TP out here. All right, so I'm gonna first try to hit him with this, and then I'm gonna try to separate at least one of them from the rest of them, if I can do that. Uh, I'm only gonna be able to take a couple of shots. I'm a sorcerer, so my life is not that great. So here we go. And let's see, I'm cold. So if we get a cold immune, I'll try not to get a cold immune if I can help it. Okay, no means. Get him right down. See, can't take a lot of shots. That's what I was talking about. Okay, now. So what you want to do is get them. There they are now. Go a little bitty teleports like this. Then a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Maybe you can drag one off over here. Get that one wrapped around over there. Pop back over here. There we go. Perfect. Now, get your Merce on one of them. And there. Now, if you have all three of them to deal with, then you got one on, you got two on you usually, and one on your Merce, or two on your Merce, and one on you. And you end up dying. Man, he's shooting out electric. My oh, God. And it's strong, too. There went my Merce. That's great. All right. Now, if I can manage to stay alive. Ooh, one potion. Oh, good, he doesn't have... Okay, that's a beast. He doesn't have any electric coming off or nothing. That's the only reason why that guy even killed us. That's how I do it with the source. I mean, everybody's got their own little thing. I've seen people drag them over here and get them caught up over there while they kill them across this and all that. There's all kinds of different ways to do it. But I like to get one of them off somewhere and drag two down, get my mercy on one, me fighting the other, and that's how I do it. Man. Doesn't always work that way. It's not hard to do sometimes, but that went... Just like cake work right there. So. Okay. Or clock works, not cake work. <laughs> I'm getting tired. <laughs> Time to go to sleep. I should go to town and get everything together before I do this, but hopefully I can find this first level quick. 
Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get my Merce back and all my stuff and all that before we tear off in here and doing this. Here's what you don't want to see. When you get down to where Bell's at, you don't want to see succubus immune to cold. As a cold sorceress. Now, there's ways to deal with it. And it has to do with your Merce and your teleportation and stomping. And if your Merce gets killed, you just got to keep going and getting him because you ain't going to get past him without just doing it and doing it and doing it until you get it done. But... Well, that's good. Uh, you know, tele-stomp, man, when it comes to that right there. And pray to God your Merce can handle the situation. Okay... Okay, there it is. Now we gotta, we gotta get the waypoint down here so I can come back. I'm gonna be doing a lot of these runs, so. Definitely gotta get it. I mean, you always want Bell's waypoint regardless, anyway. Especially online. Sure, one right there. Alright, there we go. Now. Come on, no succubuses, man, with cold immune. I can handle it, it's just a pain in the ass. There they are. Oh, man, come on. Oh, man. Alright, well, here you're gonna get to see what I was talking about, I guess. Now, you gotta keep him alive, and you gotta be careful with yourself at the same time. If he starts getting a little life like that, you gotta get away, heal him up. Or you'll be buying your mercy over and over and over and over, and you don't wanna do that. Let's see if I can get one let up here. There we go. You just gotta, this is how you gotta do it, I mean. When you're dealing with the source and she's pure cold. It can only last in there for a minute, you know. Come on. Oh! Yeah, it's 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 tough, man. When you're dealing with this shit. And you know, my mercy's not that great. So that's on top of everything else that you're dealing with. Yeah, this is a pain right here. And I don't have any other skills that would do anything, so... This is it. I can get them let off up here, though, not all together. There we go. Get her. That stupid curse. Let me see if I can fight them down this way. Yeah, let's try that. Hopefully we won't get too many of them stirred up. Let's get these curse guys off. Whoa, I took a big hit by something. I didn't see it. He was hiding behind the... <laughs> he was hiding. Here's a super one right here. Come on. Get off of me. Normally this doesn't take this long, but since it's these guys and they're immune to me, it takes a while. Should help some. Come on, Mars. Finally, my God, what a mess. What a mess that was. Exactly what I said I didn't want to see is exactly what was there. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather be, deal with burning souls than that. You know, an all cold sword. And I think my son's going to come in here. Right in the middle of me making a video. Come here, Steve. Everybody want to see my son? Hey, don't come over this stuff. I just said don't come over this stuff. Go down the other way. Come on, come around. Well, that don't sound good, big boy. He's going to die here. He always does. Fire stuff, man. Come here. This is my son, Steve. Look into the camera right there. You can't see you. Just look in the camera. This is my son, Steve. He's starting to learn how to play Diablo. He's getting pretty good at it. He's four years old. I got a couple of videos of him playing when he was littler than he is now. Yeah, I'll just have him fine, you know. Ooh, ooh. One life. <laughs> wow. I just about got killed. This 
sleepy? Why'd you get up if you're sleepy? Okay, here comes the Listers. Oh boy. I hate the Listers. Yeah, they can get you if you ain't careful, can't they? Alright, we're gonna hit them with orb first and then I'm gonna shock them. Gotta back up because I can't take hard no hits from them. Okay, good enough. Now I can kill them. I knew my Merce was gonna die right there. There's no question about it. Yeah, what are you doing, Lister? Get on around here and fight. Lister with chicken. Here's a chicken and hiding over there. There. All right, guys. Here goes Bell. You watch. We went all the way through Nightmare Man on a sorceress. <coughs> I'll see how long it actually took here in a minute. I usually stay on Bell's floor. Now, hopefully he doesn't steal my mana before I can get something off on him here. Yeah, Nightmare only goes down a quarter, right? At least a quarter to be killed. My arms were shaking. Your arms are shaking? Why? Cold? Yeah. Right there. Don't hit him again. Don't hit him again. I gotta get my MF gear on. Okay. All right, 300 MF on quest for, you know, for the quest and everything. Let's see if he's going to be nice and give us something at least halfway decent here. I'm just putting my MF gear on right now because I guess that's ever. Let's see if it's 300. If it is, we're good. Oh, what am I missing? Something I didn't get on. What is it? Oh, switch of hands. Oh, 400. Oh, that's what I didn't do a while ago. I didn't switch my hands. Now we're at 400. Okay, that's that was it. Oh, come on. Really? Crap. Necro Helm and that sword that does cold damage. <coughs> that's when you know you've been playing the game a long time, when you know what the items are before you ever pick them up. There it is. Well... I already have one of these, so, I mean. That's a pretty good Merce Hound, too, though, so that five life on it. Keep that. Damage to Undead. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Half Frozen Duration. It's not a bad Merce uh, Helm at a lower level. I don't have really any good ones anyway, so why not? All right, guys. Um, my son's cold. He woke up. i got to get him warm, take care of him and everything. Uh... Please hit the like button if you made it this far. <laughs> uh, you know, if you if you want to see anything else you want me to do, you know, same thing I say in my videos, all of them. Uh, I appreciate the donations that I get. I put it into my items and stuff like that to make better videos. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching my videos. I hope I'm entertaining everyone. And peace out. And Odin God logging out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll probably... Maybe I'll do a little bit of hell MFing. And you guys can watch some of that. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Say bye. Go like this, say bye. Look, wave your hand at the camera, say bye. Nobody's there right now. See, look, there you are. See, look. You see yourself in the TV? See, you're in the TV right there. I wanted to make you bigger. <laughs> say bye. Oh, I gotta stop the video. Where I said... I wish I could grow. You will. You will. Just say bye like this. He ain't going to do it. All right, guys. All right, have a good one. Peace out.